Since I am the daughter of school teachers in Wilsall and a Belgrade junior high science teacher, I found something that's sure to have you find science awe-inspiring and fun. Let's take a look at the science carnival coming this Saturday around the valley. Some of the best ones will be a full-size bed of nails. So testing physics with your own body on a bed of nails. Wait, what? Science is certainly not boring. So, um, you know, when we see maybe in movies or in Hollywood or in plays, you would think that laying down on a bunch of spikes would hurt really bad. But the reality is because your weight is distributed over several nails, it doesn't hurt at all. 13 science experiments plus a science show and live music are part of the science carnival this Saturday. Um, the MSU Earth Sciences Department will be here with um, a volcano experiment talking about earthquakes and everything. Um, we're also going to be extracting strawberry DNA. So, hey guys, let's go see Mr. Tim. He's going to do a science experiment for us. Come on. I'm going to place this in the cold water and it crushes right down. So that's the, the power of steam. Um, and the air pressure that's around us. All I'm doing is removing the air from the inside. So the only inside here. Yep, the only force that's acting on it is the atmosphere around us pushing in on it. All right, so I'm going to close this valve and remove that. Now there's the two handles. So go ahead and try to pull those pieces apart. There was no glue. There was no anything. They were just placed together. I don't want right. to break it. I'm pretty. No, strong. no, it's, I mean, <laughs> give it a try. Uh, no, it's, it's not coming apart. All right, so all I have to do is then just so as you're pulling, I just open this valve to let the air back in, okay. and it comes right apart. Fascinating. So, that's the the power of the atmosphere that we live in. If we just make a pressure differential then we can create a lot of force and that's how airplanes fly. Look what happens to marshmallows in a vacuum chamber. They expand when the tons of air bubbles in them are against the force. The air goes back in and they shrink down. Now they're significantly smaller than they were because we pulled the air out of it and all that's left is like sugar. But they're still good for s'mores. They're still perfectly edible. They're kind of a little firm and More kind of dense old without the compared air. to the nice fluffy marshmallows. And so what I really like about this is a science you can taste. There's not too much science that's safe for tasting. There's nothing like show and tell to spark learning. For safety, there are three sessions Saturday, two hours each, starting at 2, going until 7, and it's outside in the parking lot at the Science Center. That's right across from the mall, and you can get tickets ahead online or at the Science Center or at the door on Saturday.